in the advanced auto palette setting we talked about how we can remove the badly performing keyword uh, so how do we know it's a badly performing keyword and uh, even if you want to know you know what keywords uh, are performing uh, how do you define performing and uh, that's how we're going to do it over here uh, we're going to talk about how to you know uh, find out what is a good performing keyword uh, so here we are in the we've selected a campaign we're in the targeting section you can see all the keyword uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the columns that is not required for example suggested bait keyword type uh, we, we don't need this um, for this tutorial for this walkthrough so now that I removed it you can see um, there are around 11 keywords uh, what I'm interested to know is what is the performance all of it and a good way to look at the performance of um, all of it is scroll to the right and see the quality score and quality rank uh, this is calculated by a hello uh, using an algorithm and if you don't see it you can just switch it on on the columns on the right and um, here you can see the quality rank quality score so if you sort it by quality rank uh, you can see this is number one um, uh, resistance bands women you know this is um, the highest this is the best performing uh, quality rank and second three four five so these are the in in order of you know rank um, these are the top five performing keyword the other keywords you know which um which haven't performed at all and we can see that there are no spend there is no sales uh, uh, because there is no spend and there is no sale it's uh, hard to calculate the rank as well so uh, in, in a campaign you want to know what is the best performing um, uh, keyword it is which is this number one and the lowest performing is of course the lowest um, of the rank over here that is also a kind of a, a, a quality score which uh, which is used to find out what is the difference between you know one and two how much is the difference between one and two so here for example uh, the higher the ranking um, um, so the score gives you an idea of what is the difference between the quality ranks so for example when you say one two three it doesn't you know, make a difference it could be that one is carrying all the weight of it and you know two three four five are really significantly far off so this quality score gives you an idea of how far off are the other ranks so here you can see one and two are fairly close uh, but three four five there's a huge drop off you know you see in the number uh, higher the number the better the the higher the score the better it is so one and two are really the best performing keywords uh, three four five we can safely you know uh, remove it without causing any concern it's actually um, the cost for this is zero the cost for this is 19 uh, well, one thing to keep in mind is that even though the, um, the cost for both of this is zero uh, you can see what uh, the score for this is higher than of the fifth and that's because the algorithm not only uses the past performance it also uses what could be the potential about it um, and here you know uh, what what it thinks is um, the potential for this number three keyword even though uh, 